I went to church the other day. I went to church the other day to hear what the man of God had to say. I needed a word from the Lord for my spirit. I needed to be encouraged and uplifted. As the preacher rose and stood at the roster, I noticed he was somewhat bent over in his posture. He appeared to me to be an elderly man, one with wisdom who could help me understand. Before he took his text, he told the saints a few jokes. I guess to lighten the mood, for these were some true sanctified folks. He then said to the church that something just wouldn't leave him alone. And you could soon tell beneath the jokes lied a seriousness in the sound of his tone. He began to interject comments about homosexuality and how that thing has affected both the church and our society. As he continued to speak, his commentary drew both laughter and jeers. To which he then said, Lord, I hope there ain't no f***s up in here. As I sat on that church pew, I wondered what was this messenger's true intent. Was it to encourage change or opportunity for his disgust to vent? I wanted to look out into the congregation and take a poll. I wanted to ask how many f***s in attendance believed that being ridiculed was helping to save their souls. I thought about all the years I had been a part of the church and how it had far too often inflicted far too much hurt. Circumstances in life beat us up enough. What's wrong with us extending some grace and showing each other some love? Now, I'm not asking for you to condone nor agree. I'm just asking if we can deal with each other a little more compassionately. For although I've been known to do what I do, I, like you, believe the word of God to be true. So please don't get what I'm expressing misconstrued. Yes, I believe the abominations of Leviticus and the warnings in Romans too. I know to some this may seem to be a contradiction in living, but if you look into anyone's life, you're bound to find that there's been some sinning. And this is not about excuses or anything of the sort, but it's about progression, the process of a life's course. Now, if the complexity of what I'm explaining you don't understand, please be glad that you don't. For this thing right here is heavy and contrary to popular belief, it ain't made for no punks. So yes, I went to church the other day because I wanted to hear what the man of God had to say. And although that day I felt no love from the pulpit directed towards me, the working out of my soul's salvation is still my responsibility. So yes, I went to church the other day as I will continue to do because the same God you serve, I serve him too. Amazing grace, amazing grace, amazing grace, amazing grace, amazing grace.